Azul. Hello and welcome to the Hot Kitchen of Yazol podcast. Today we are the two amigos because one amigo is missing. Your story chefs on duty cooking you some of the hottest stories from out there. Is that so cool? But of course, don't worry, we have a special guest today. And now, straight out of Vancouver, Canada, the big man, Zol Kebir, on the wheels of steel. Please welcome DJ Bakumba. Yeah, DJ Bakumba, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys have a good week. And of course, I am the chef on the grill, the DCE, the Sultan of Small London, Zol Kebir Mosoran Sili. So welcome. Coming up today on your Zol podcast, the highlights. From South Sudan. Bright Stars lose one nil to Congo in Brazzaville. Former mayor of Juba released after months in detention. A young man resigns from being a South Sudanese citizen. What is the beef between John Frog and Ali Joma? We'll get to know about that. System breakdown stops the issuance of passports and national ID cards in Juba. And from the African continent, we have Ugandan marathon athlete dies in Kenya after being set on fire. And in Ghana, Haramita Galamaya was paraded in the streets. How was he caught? You'll get to learn. American politician pleads guilty to using campaign money for plastic surgery. And a car rolled into the river while the couple were busy eating forbidden fruit in the back seat. All these stories coming up on Yazol podcast. Gisad Sokun, the hottest stories from out there. First, here's an update on the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers in Group K. Full time, South Sudan lost 1-0 to the Republic of Congo in Brazzaville, while South Africa drew 2-2 with Uganda, meaning South Sudan is now bottom of Group K and will need a win against South Africa in Juba next week. Angola pulled a 1-0 win against Ghana's Black Stars. Burundi beat Malawi by three goals to two at the Bingo uh, National Stadium in Lilongwe. Some of the matches played in this past week were Comoros 1-1 Gambia, Libya 1-1 against Rwanda, Sudan beat Niger 1-0 in Juba, Tanzania and Ethiopia played a draw in Group H. So, the biggest story of course turns out to be the Bright Stars jersey, which had a big massive coat of arms, you know, splattered on the front side of it, causing a lot of backlash from South Sudanese online. Some South Sudanese called the, the design the dumbest idea ever, questioning its relevance to the team's identity. The debate seems to have added more fuel to the big loss one nil to Congo. Maybe somebody in government thought it was a good idea, but South Sudanese don't seem to think so. Well, Bakumba, how do you think? Yeah, that, 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 that was the to me that there's no nation on earth that has a sport jersey with the coat of arms. Like just just coat of arms is that that's like a government it's a government emblem that, you know, is supposed to be sitting somewhere, whether in the parliament or state house or I mean it just if, if, if that is, a, if, if that is a, the, 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 the emblem of the nation, it just it does not. The, it is not on the jersey. There's no way in historically. Sometimes when you design something, it has to go. You need to be able to follow. You know historically who has done which, which nation has done what. But this one, this one is the most unique one. I hope, I hope whoever bring that damaged idea will just we will we, we, we just you know those jerseys. Actually, for me, they. If I, if I had the power, I'd just take them, just burn the hell out of those, out of those jerseys because they're too late. That's just a gambling idea. Mm-hmm. You, don't have, you don't have a national emblem on your chest. You can, you can have, we have so many, so, so many things in South Sudan that we can, we can be proud of. You know, you can put whatever, whether you want to put a lion on it or whatever, but it must represent you must represent the flag, or even one color of the flag. You can even, you can even have blue, like you can have red, you can have, the whole thing to be green, like whatever. Yeah, as long as you have like, that's how that, that's how natural things are designed. But you can you can't have the coat of arms on your chest. Who are you carrying the coat of arms? What is it gonna do to you? Is it is it gonna help you to play better? No. <laughs> so I think it's one of the most stupid idea ever. 
Yeah. Maybe somebody thought they were marketing the government because the basketball team won, so it's good credit to the government, you know, to put the good word out there. What do you think? <laughs> well, the government should market itself by its own good deed, not only through the sports. The mm. sportsmen are doing their best. Our government needs to do its best. So they should stop putting a coat of arm everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Samzol, Samzol Kabir somewhere was told, you know what? Anna Bukutufi. And by the way, putting that code of arms on the jersey, it's actually very expensive, you know? Yeah. If you're a graphic designer, you know, you, 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 you know how much that thing costs. Just to put yeah. that, to put that, to put that, that, that somebody, somebody is, Samzol Kabir is eating somewhere, so we need to find out. <laughs> we are going to go Somebody is eating somewhere and designing this thing. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, yeah, it yeah. seems to have really backfired. So yeah. let's wait and see, though. Um, uh, next week's uh, game again is South Africa. Yeah. If they will use the same jersey, uh, well, uh, I guess they are sick. Last all their gel that they will keep your bakuma. Zone. Former mayor of Juba released from detention. Uh, the former mayor of Juba, Kalisto Lado, has been re uh, released from detention after spending months at the National Security Detention Center in Juba. His arrest on March 30th this year sparked a lot of controversy and condemnation from human rights organizations, <laughs> receiving widespread, uh, widespread criticism from lawmakers, civil society, international bodies, including the U.S. Embassy in Juba. Kalisto's release was confirmed by his lawyer, Maulana Wani Santino Jada, bringing an end to months-long ordeal. Uh, Edmund Yakani, the executive director of the SIPO, uh, which is Community Empowerment for Progress Organization, expressed his appreciation for the release of the former mayor. He also called for a proper care of the former mayor's health and expressed gratitude to whoever supported the advocacy efforts that led to the release. He also acknowledged the government's favorable reaction to calls for Lado's release. Uh, however, uh, Yakani stressed the need for accountability, urging the government to hold those responsible for the arrest and arbitrary detention of uh, the former mayor to be brought to account. For me, it's really important that our government uh, make sure that people are just not thrown in. If I offend you, because you have power, you just don't throw people in. They have to be a due process for everybody. Mm -hmm. If he committed a crime, then he will go in. But just because I have an opinion, I don't have to go to jail for opinion. Or if I want things done certain way, you don't even have to throw all your political opponents to jail. Mm -hmm. The political opponents are really very important because they serve as an extra eye to the government. If I tell you something is wrong, you need to look into it, whether you like it or you don't like it. But that's where you learn what you are doing right and what you are not doing right. But it seems like our country wants yes people. We can never grow with yes people. Ajatalgal, fear is called ikhtiram. Don't threaten people and then you consider it respect when people are quiet. When people are threatened and they are quiet, that is not mm -hmm. respect. But it seems like an as best director, I'm going to get a director, I'm going How can you be respected if you are not even respecting yourself and doing the things you need to do for your nation? So release today is a good thing. We need to let these young people uh, participate in the system. Mm -hmm. but, Bakumba, what did you think about the situation? Yeah, I think uh, the, the number one thing at, uh, since the beginning, since his arrest, we uh, we as uh, as the European South Wales inside South Wales, out of South Wales, always condemn that kind of arbitrary arrest. Mm -hmm. the regime, like there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no in the world ahead of just detain since March until today. That's more. That's who, we are talking about what almost four months without yeah. without, without without trial. Right? So we are we are glad. We're glad that such release that Kalisto is out, and I hope that you know she continue the activism. I just for me, my hope, my 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 hope is that she he should not he should not be afraid. Just continue whatever, continue what he's doing, and uh, a lot a lot of Jubilee across the uh, across the world are supporting 
Uh, uh, supporting him for that day. Uh, if you go at the end of the day, we need to get our country into, into, into a good track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, let's go to this other story. This is less political, I guess. Um, young man resigns from being a South Sudanese citizen. I guess local Becky <laughs> Fire Colors. <laughs> <laughs> He's had it with, with, with the country. He's quitting. <laughs> a young man resigns, uh, and the, the young man is identified as Mayen Mayuot Akol. And he said he has resigned from being a South Sudanese. This comes three days after another young man, of course, called Abang Silver Captain, wrote his own resignation letter, which he directed straight to the President of the Republic. In Mayen's case, um, he, he put on his Facebook profile that he's an alumni of Kwajok National Secondary School, and he's a jobless graduate of the University of Juba, College of Computer Science and Information Technology. Of course, he has also refused to pay dowry for somebody's daughter because of the economic <laughs> hardship in the country. Uh, <laughs> so he remains single by choice until further notice. Uh, Mayan did not state what his plans are after quitting citizenship. Uh, so here's the letter, and I'll read it out to you. Uh, it goes, date, August 28th, 2024. My fellow South Sudanese, kindly accept my resignation from being a South Sudanese citizen. I know it has come as a surprise to you. I have really enjoyed it since it was, uh, since I was born in South Sudan in 1998. I have suffered so far in the critical moments I have spent with you. Mangar, meaning hunger, has reached its peak in my comfort zone, of which I cannot resist. Since South Sudan isn't for weak people, I officially and South Sudan myself with immediate effect, starting today. It's with deep regret that I will no longer be a South Sudanese by nationality. I know how it has caused inconvenience to you, all but please accept my decision of unsouthing myself. Thank you. Best regards, former South Sudanese. And that is Mayen Mayot Akol. Well, <laughs> I can see Makumba <laughs> laughing. <laughs> I wonder, um, why, why, laughing would, too. I wonder, why would he not? Why would he not resign <laughs> from being South Sudanese? <laughs> if you're in a country, if you, if you live in a household where your father is eating, your, and uh, his friends, they are very, they are happy. They are all eating and people are fat and mm. you, you are hungry. Your father is marrying the woman you are supposed to marry. Mm. You know, all those elders, they are the one doubling on the wives because they can afford it. Do, do you think this guy is really serious or is just a comedy stunt? <laughs> Bakumba. Uh, I think I think I'm wondering. I think the video of my my is just registering his frustration, the frustration okay. of the nation, and he's not alone. Like he's just, 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 just the agony and the cry of the nation, like you know the the suffering of the of of, of, of the citizens of, of the citizens. So, of mm. the yeah, sharp company. Like there is a lot of problems going on there. So I don't think I don't think he's uh, he's, he's, he's like resigning per se. It's just like the frustration of the nation. Like who want to live mm. in that in, in that country? Who really mm. people died for it? People died for that nation. Then you just you you, you do your best. You know, you go to school. You you, mm. you, you the, the way the, the way we are taught. Like to be successful, you need to yeah. go to school. And then if you after school, you expect to find a job. And then yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, you are sick. You, you, you take your own food, you take your own food, your own guy sitting at home with no job, with nothing. So, yeah, yeah for, for, for me, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's just registering the sense that, you know, this nation is just frustrating. It's mm -hmm. not for the weak. Yeah, this nation is for, for those who <laughs> do the party and the hardship. It's not that yeah. easy. Because in my head, where you go, where you go what, what citizens are you going to If you go to Ethiopia, the same yeah. problem. You go to Kenya, yeah. they use yeah. a language in poverty. Uganda, you your language. So where else can you go? You know? Yeah. So I think it's just, uh, it's just a show of, uh, it's, it's, it's very comical, but it's the reality. You know, so, 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 so is one of the best ways I'm going to pass a message. So I hope, yeah. I, I hope last Kobarde will get that message so that, you know, yeah, we need, we need to change this as a, as a country. People <laughs> yeah. are tired. Everybody's tired. Yeah. You, yeah, even the old people are tired. Everybody's just, you, you can't language in poverty for this long. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, on Facebook, a gentleman calling himself uh, Kudos Major wrote, Nobody yeah. is resigning. We must suffer together. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Another yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. That one I'm uh, uh, we, we, we need to share in the <laughs> You are not going anywhere, Mr. Mayan. But, but so you stay with us. But, but then you are wondering, can any like with this kind of suffering, can anybody actually die for South Sudan? You let's say let's say somebody is attacked South Sudan. Who is who's actually willing to die for that country? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Akun Majak says we need our pension first before we resign. You know, mm-hmm. uh, Jacob says uh, Mayan should be given his oil share first before he goes. Oh, I don't yeah, know where yeah. his yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, Achuil Ding uh, Achuil uh, took a hard line and wants Mr. Mayan to apologize to all South Sudanese for his decision. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, de- definitely, Mr. Mayan got us talking. Um, uh, no, um, but I actually have my own opinion. My own opinion okay. is that we really need to consider people's <laughs> mental health. Some oh, okay. people like Mayen will write their resignation like that. Mm. That's yeah. how they will vent. But yeah. there are people in this world that will literally go and commit suicide and nobody's reporting on those things. Mm-hmm. There are people who end their life because they feel defeated. Mm-hmm. So jokes aside, there are people who actually resign in life. They might not be able to resign the citizenship, but right. they will resign in life. And if they resign in life, many people are going to be affected. Their family will be affected. If they have children, their children are going to be affected. And right. even the nation is affected because we lost somebody who might have created some change that mm-hmm. will benefit the entire nation. So yeah. we need to consider the mental health of the young people in our country. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah me- me- mental health definitely is a big issue. Um, you you see, Nasbi Katolo Badun all over, right? Uh, Mushkila Sukar Zerekalas, Zolbis Senegal Badun. So it's it's not really easy. Um, that 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 also means um, you know, the economy needs to be sorted out, and mm. a few yeah. things need to be sorted out so that the country yeah. can really get back on its uh, feet. You know. Yeah. And, and if yeah, if if you think things are going down, well, this one even takes it further down. A uh, system breakdown stops issuance of passports and national ID cards in Juba, and the government suspended the issuing of the cards uh, due to uh, breakdown in the city uh, in, in the system. Of course, frustrated citizens, and in this case, including my own mother, have you know faced delays and disruptions in uh, getting their passports and ID cards. Uh, the Civil Registry, uh, Nationality and Passport and Immigration Director, uh, Major General uh, Simon Majur Pabek, announced that on Sunday, attributing it to a week-long printer outage. Of course, before that, Kanfi Mushkil at uh, booklets, uh, Gal booklets, Maki Fire, and mm-hmm. they were having issues with the German company that supplies all that. Now it's the system. And then there was financial troubles. They had, of course, their dispute with the international partners and stuff. Too many problems all over the uh, South Sudan. Uh, really, really, things need to get sorted. Uh, of course, those who are traveling to East Africa, Gali, um, you can get, uh, uh, you know, your documents from the locations like Nimule, or if you're flying out of Juba, you can get, uh, you know, alternative traveling documents at the airport. But we hope um, the you know the 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 Department of Nationality, Passport, and Immigration sorts it out soon. Well, I I see an opportunity for people then as my kid who who have done computer science to yeah our IT guy <laughs> yeah 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 De- develop a, 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 a homegrown solution to those problems right uh, yeah. instead of contracting it to a German company uh, yeah. or uh, whatever foreign company even the booklets they they should just buy the machines from whatever pay once and keep them in juba and print the documents locally you know yeah yeah it's actually very easy to do that it's not a hard thing it's very easy to design if they have to they already have the design of the booklet in place what is the problem just a printer they can have printers in juba yeah that's that's a funny project like where where, 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 where
I can get a passport in one day. The mm -hmm. yeah. I just, I, if I need to travel today, I just, I just need to show my ticket that uh, yeah, it's an agent travel. If I my passport is in part, I can actually get a passport on the same day. Yeah. There's a beef going on between John Frog and Ali Joma. I think you guys came across it online, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big beef between um, the musicians Ali Joma and John Frog. Of course, we know John Frog from Gondo. Sake, you know, you know the song, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, John Frog actually he just released this past week uh, his song featuring uh, Raveny from Tanzania, and the song is doing well in the region. I think it's number one or two in Ethiopia, topping the charts. Um, I don't know. I don't have the numbers for 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 local uh, uh, for the local entertainment scene in Juba, but. Um, John Frog's beef with Ali Joma seems to be everywhere online and people are talking about it. Jinobin are throwing their thoughts about it. And, and you know, the, the hardline fans are saying this or saying that. Of course, the, the, <laughs> the, the whole beef, uh, I don't know what the genesis is because those guys are supposed to be friends. And then, of course, Ali Joma had uh, an, interv uh, an interview, I think, with uh, Loroba. Um, and in, in, in the interview, he dissed John Frog, calling him Gondo Sake for owning no music studio. And of course, <laughs> um, Ali, Ali Joma, of course, has uh, his top level music, uh, which is a record level, uh, uh, label, yeah. But John Frog says uh, GG, the, the record label he has, is not a groupy thing. Yeah, the Gondogang is is not just a groupy thing, you know. It's it's actually a record label, and uh, he mentioned that to Ali Joma. So it's been a back and forth, back and forth kind of thing. Um, then of course, uh, John Frog went on Oxygen TV. Uh, he did the interview there, and um, he called Ali Joma a wedding artist. <laughs> you know, and he followed it with a two-hour-long Facebook uh, Facebook uh, live video warning in colorful terms that he will use fingers to do certain things to Ali Joma's rectum. Of course, in very colorful terms, which I cannot, you know, mention here. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of this country. Uh, and he also called Ali Joma a jealous man. Ajama, wh wh why are these uh, South Sudanese musicians always beefing? I don't understand, Bakumbo. You are the one from the entertainment scene. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, usually, uh, you know, you know, like, uh, this thing has been always been one of the, uh, one of the things when it comes to the entertainment industry. People okay. just, just, so this thing is like, it's, it's, I, I would call it like cloud chasing because it's very yeah. long. It's, it's, it's like, right, we're talking about it, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Long, it, it, it brings a lot of attention. Those who, yeah. know, those, those who I don't know Ali Joma, they will, they will start Googling him. Who, who is Ali Joma? Who is Ali Joma? Yeah, who is John yeah. Frog? So, this is part of the game. Right? You know, in, in the US, you have the East Coast during the rapping in the, in the 90s. When yeah. you were who, 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 in the 90s, you have the East Coast, West Coast. You know, yeah. the only people, Cooper on this side, the other guys on this side, the young and the LA people. So, yeah. this thing has always been one of us. I mean, he's, he's been in the, in the entertainment industry for many, many years. And I don't think he's going to stop anyway. He's part of the okay. entertainment industry. Yeah, we read about these things and they're fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I can do enjoy. So, I, yeah. I, but if, if, if they can bang it up with good, you know, with good sound and good music, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. That, 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 it will be great, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, Ali Joma himself has uh, has admitted that he's actually a wedding artist. I so I so yeah. I, I want to know the entire the entire interview. He admitted yeah. that he's a wedding artist. He, 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 he say he makes a lot of money out of wedding songs. So, okay. Yeah. He, no, actually, <laughs> yeah, uh, actually now we know songs. about. <laughs> now we know about Ali Joma and his wedding. When we are looking for wedding artists, we know who to call. Very yeah. good marketing strategy. Just call Ali Joma, pay him a little bit of money here, and then he compose a song specifically for your wedding. So apparently, yeah, he, yeah he, why he, not? One song he saying he can compose, and actually, I, 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 most of the time, most of this music, I think, is a dinga. So I'm not, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with the songs. I, I hope he can transition to more national language where everybody can understand it. So that's, yeah. that's, that's one thing I don't understand about Ali Joma. 
Yeah, he's he's uh I maybe mean, maybe maybe wedding maybe most of his wedding songs are for 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 for, for, for that group of, of language, but I hope he can transition to the rest of South Sudan. And then of course John of course John Frog. Yeah, he's, I like his I, I like John Frog music. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah he can compose a song, he's, he's, he's comical, he's entertaining, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know Ali John actually started in uh, with the dance hall. Then um, yeah, yeah. he he trans okay. yeah he dra- he transitioned into more more traditional kind of stuff. But yeah, he, yeah. his 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 music is quite melodious, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he yeah. he he knows he knows his thing, and yeah, of course yeah. John Frog mm-hmm. knows his thing too. So ba- basically, yeah. the South Sudanese uh, entertainment scene is 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 vibrant, which is very yeah, good, yeah. and yeah. it will keep on growing as long yeah, as yeah. it doesn't turn into a you know Tupac uh, Biggie kind of situation. Yeah, and of course, every time we have those beefs, uh, I know uh, the other amigo Dennis. His favorite is uh, Queen Z versus Mary Boyoy. Oh, you that, know? Was big, <laughs> that was a big, that was a big fight. <laughs> yeah, and and then the, the, there was Lady Cola, Queen Z, and now Ali Joma and John Frog. So yeah, things, right. who knows who's gonna go next time? And then, and then I think, I think, I think Silver, even Silver X and Queen Z took that was a big beef. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of yeah. There's, there's a lot of. It's part of the entertainment. That's what I can say. That's part of the entertainment. Yeah. No, and yeah. actually, they are doing good because they are getting on to their game. They have really been growing. Now yeah. they 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 got their music down. Now they are getting into the beef thing, which is a marketing strategy. So mm-hmm. they are doing good. I'm so proud of them because they are growing. And now yeah. we just want Ali Joma to start making for us songs in regular Arabic, well, you should know exactly. some language, so we can all enjoy. We don't want to yeah. miss out on these dra- wedding songs. Give us something for the whole yeah. 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 Transition to Arabijuba a little bit and also buy a Mercedes Benz because that's what oh, John, yeah. John Frog is saying. Yeah, you need yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. John, 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 John Frog has a, a, a Chevy, Chevy, yeah. and he has a Camaro or something. Yeah, he has a very expensive vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gale Ali Joma Mendo, I had your obese in the spare tire at a wheelbarrow. Ali Joma ma perform anywhere, like John Frog has performed in India, America, and Egypt. Ali Joma has so far gone as far as Gudele. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no problem. I'm a big ass supporter to Ali Joma. Once, once he start making uh, Agani be be Rutan and Naskul give for him, mm-hmm. he will be invited to weddings very far away. So he will he will afford he will afford that the Mercedes Benz in mm-hmm. future. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I, I I like both of them. I listen to their songs, so I'm a good fan to all of them. Yeah. Just don't don't be on each other's throats. Let it just yeah, be for no, the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and I know behind the scenes they are still good friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, you're now entering, you know, dangerous territory. If you don't behave, of course. So, gel the best. Alela, mm-hmm. we are trying to find out who Bakumba is whipping. Uh, Bakumba, so Baku do Munu Alela. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in in my own personal opinion, of course, Anna Mabi Jelled on Sally Joma John Frog because they are building the nation. <laughs> but but yeah, yeah, that that coat of arms guy really, the designer. Ah, yeah. 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 That's my Zola designer. I was just the football jersey that 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 the Jimmy Sudan with the coat of arms spent a lot of money. You, 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 you eat and make proper the taxpayers' money, or the oil money, mm. or the oil money. Zone, zone, even no map, you know, the Mugul, they need to be arrested, actually. Mm. You never design that thing. They need to be arrested. <laughs> you can't, yeah. you can't, 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 you
So it's a conasma. You guys had it. Um, so be on the watch out. Make sure you don't mess up in public because sort of bakumba bijako dita sake. Okay, let's go to the African continent now for our stories. And yeah. this uh, story coming out of Kenya is a bit sad. Um, Ugandan Olympics marathon runner Rebecca Cheptege uh, is dead. She passed away after being set ablaze by her lover or husband um, or boyfriend. Uh, the Ugandan Olympian, of course, got the burns up to 80% on her body after she was doused with petrol and, you know, set on fire. Um, quite sad. She was assaulted uh, after the boyfriend snuck into her home in Kenyans, uh, in Kenya's Transoya County while she and her children were at church. The 33-year-old took part in the women's marathon at the uh, Paris Olympics this year, and she was placed number 44. Um, it, it's, it's quite unfortunate because this is not the first time uh, that's happening. In Kenya, there have been three uh, women who have died back to back. You know, Maris Mutua, who was found dead in Iten. Uh, she was a world-famous uh, athlete, um, and she... She unfortunately died. And then there was also uh, Agnes Tirop, who was stabbed. Um, all these female athletes were killed in the last three years by their, uh, by their husbands or by their boyfriends. May their souls rest in peace. Femicide um, seems to be an issue. I don't know what exactly is going on. Sarah, did you hear about this story? Yeah, I heard about this story. It's really sad. Uh, I feel uh, condolence to her family and the children. It's it's a problem of, um, you know, our society, the man, a man is designed to provide, but some men can handle it if the wife is stronger than they are. Which is should be okay. Like in Taban, even Landa for society, Landa to the Dumi Ganga, itamara jiliaki. Because you can't do this, you can't do this, tamara jil. So some men these days don't really know how to be a man anymore. Because the society has shifted a lot. This woman goes to compete, she comes there with the money that is considered big money where they are. Mm -hmm. And now this person feels small because of this big money. And for the case of uh, the, the, the recent athlete, I heard that is an ex-boyfriend now. So they broke up. Now this woman comes with money. It's like, if I'm not going to be part of the money, you are not going to leave. Mm -hmm. Without even thinking about the fact that that person worked so hard for so long to earn that money. When somebody is going to run marathon, that running that day is not the work. This is a lifetime work. Mm -hmm. But of course, this comes back to the same problem we have all in our nations in Africa. Many people don't have jobs. Mm -hmm. You don't have a way of making money. People are losing their self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And people, some people are bitter. Some of those people even want to kill themselves. But now they want to die with somebody else. So I really hope that we do something for our mental health, for, 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 for the youth in Africa. Because it's really difficult. There is no, it's not like there's no welfare system. In the outside world, the day you fail, you can feed yourself, you will go to welfare. You will at least eat. Mm -hmm. And then you will start over. But there, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. I really feel so bad. Okay. Uh yeah, Bakumba the 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 issue seems to be Gale uh, Marade she bought um a piece of land of course on the Kenyan side because she's uh, from the Ugandan side. She decided to buy a plot on the Kenyan side and build herself a house. And I think this guy wanted that, wanted all those resources uh for himself, but they have children together. So now the children are with the grandma. And of course, the, the, the father is distraught because she was providing for him too. She, she was a breadwinner for the whole family. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think, yeah, this one, this one is really, really a very sad story, you know, somebody coming mm. from, just, just from the Olympics, you know, it was, yeah, she, she did very well, even though, you know, even though she did not have a medal or something, but she's one of the top athletes and, uh, it just is it's very sad, you know, in the situation that he, we as men, you know, we need to we need, we need, we need to learn like, like you know, we need to learn to stop this kind of domestic violence. You know, it's just it's okay to walk away. It's okay to mm-hmm. walk away. You don't have to kill somebody. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. okay just to you just if, if if you have a disagreement with somebody, just just walk away. You know, it's it's not worth it. It's not worth to take somebody's life. And at the end mm-hmm. of the day, you know. He, he, this guy, the rest, he's gonna spend mm-hmm. the rest of your life. He's gonna spend the rest of his life in jail, you know. And jail is jail is not a fun place, you know. You know, yeah. like you know, the, the, the issue of this domestic violence. No matter what, just walk away. It's not mm-hmm. worth it. It's not worth it to take somebody's life. It's not worth yeah. it at all. You can know, like, you can look at some guy and you can do you right, can do whatever I want, you know. Yeah. You know this or this, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. as men are supposed to be our sister's keeper. We're supposed to protect yeah. our sister all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're supposed yeah. to protect them, not to, no, no, not to kill them. In any situation, they only do have disagreements anyway. Just walk mm-hmm. away. It's not worth it. Yeah. 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 And and he, he actually got himself burnt to, I think, uh, up to 30% when yeah, he that's was right. doing yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I read that he's so, going to after his arm, he's going out of the hospital, he's going to be charged and straight to jail. Yeah. The, rest, the rest of his life in jail, he have kids who are orphans, so his it's, it's, it's family is straight, you know, it's not, it's, it's not worth it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, totally, totally not worth it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, may all their souls rest in peace, the women, the women athletes who unfortunately lost their lives due, due to all those men in Kenya, may they rest in peace. Azul. Still staying in Kenya. This one is from um, Baba. Baba is uh, Olusegunno Basanjo. He was in Nairobi for the you know commissioning of uh, another Baba, who is Baba Raila, for the <laughs> candidature of the African Union chairman, uh, chairperson position. Right? Uh, yeah. Something funny happened. He, you know when when uh, President Ruto called him to the uh, to the podium to give his speech, an aide was called. And then the aide went and put a standing boat at the microphone for Basanjo to stand on it. When Obasanjo got to the podium, he started pushing the, <laughs> you know, the, the stepping <laughs> platform away with his feet. He could not. So, and then, of course, he went straight to say this. Obasanjo said, I am not as short as you think I am. <laughs> of course, making everybody burst into laughter. Uh, Jack Day, he seems to be a funny comedian at his age. He's 87 years old, but he's very energetic and always funny. <laughs> you know, um, is, is is that the kind of retirement you're looking forward to, Bakumba, when you're old? Ah, <laughs> man, yeah, 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 so, yes, uh, yes. I see more than too much twice. So, yeah, I think, yeah, but it's one of the great, the great African statesmen, well respected. But uh, mm. I really found it very comical. I can watch, I watch that, I, I watch that video. Okay. <laughs> I can watch that video when the, when the guy, when the guy brought, brought, brought the sun and the body. Like, it was just, it was so comical. I just, I, I just wish, you know, we as a, as a country like that, we can reach that level. Well, but we can yeah. make fun of we can make fun of ourselves. We can make fun mm-hmm. of fun of politicians too. And if you do yeah. if someone does that probably the next day it's gonna be a house. You see? Yeah. So those are those yeah. those, 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 those things of nonsense that we don't want. 
We could just yeah. even go to go to his fun and mm. he, he, uh, the old people like that. We, he, 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 it was just a comical thing. I, I actually laugh like really. It was so funny. He's not that short. I don't know what the guy was thinking. Yeah. I remember yeah. um, in 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 the early nineties yeah. uh, in Kaya, my my father's uh, youngest brother. He he used to be quite a celebrity in in Ye and of course to Kaya. Yeah. Um. The, the, there was a tough guy. Uh, the 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 area commander, the the sector commander, uh, Nikanora Magara Chek. Mm. Of course, this guy, because my, my father's youngest brother, Asu Aligo, that's his name, the late, he, he passed away. Um, he used to go around the, 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 the town, of course, announcing all the events. So, Kanfi I Hajaba Hassel from Midan, he will go around. So, so one time, Odugu Banyak to Sri Akida, and instead of, instead of saying, Nikanora Magara Chek, or I call him Nikunar Magara Chek, and of course, everybody was, <laughs> Everybody in the whole town was laughing. Of course, uh, the the following Monday I'm coming back home and then um, yeah. there's food prepared. I I now have to carry this amount of food to the to to to, to the police station. The guy yeah. is in the cell. In the Kalo Jewels, I know Karam is in the zone. Can be. <laughs> yeah. 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 The funny thing, the funny thing, he went to jail, and every child in that town calls this guy Nikunar Magara Chek. <laughs> now it became a thing. Up to today, yeah. up to today, we are grown. Others will not forget that joke. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um yeah, it's 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 the the country has to loosen up. Uh, we are we are too uptight sometimes. We need to, yeah, we need to chill out and take it easy. There's another laughing situation here. Uh I see if a goat thief in Ghana gets paraded in the streets. Jake de Seregu Galamaya. And then of course Nazel Gala put this thing on your shoulder and then they walked him around. Uh, the drama happened in a village called uh, Pare Pare in uh, a farming community in the Krachi, Krachi, I guess, in, in the Ghanaian language, East mm -hmm. constituency of Oti region of Ghana, where a 55-year-old man was accused of stealing a goat uh, and then paraded through the township. His name was uh, identified as Abalo Kwesi. Mm -hmm. He was subjected to overwhelming humiliation. Um, in full view of the residents, and of course the children and the youth were following him around. You know the way children used to follow my <laughs> my my younger father as well, Igo and Kaya. So they were booing and singing, adding to his disgrace. Uh, area residents, of course, said uh, it is good that the guy was caught because he's been notorious for invading their homes to steal goats. Uh, they said the goats have been stolen so many times and they felt helpless and nothing was always left behind. The guy takes everything. So this one time, Jake De Serago Galama, Ojere Mojo Agabanaki was going to skin it. Then some children saw him and they raised their alarm. So Mr. Abalo was caught in the bush, red-handed with a goat. Mm -hmm. And so then, of course, the live one, they said, put it on your shoulder and they walked him around. This at a Serega Tagalamaya day can only be an African <laughs> an African story, right? I don't think out here you can ever go to somebody's, you know, farm and steal farm, a goat. You and just not take even off. enter somebody's farm. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but but I I I like the the, 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 the this form of African justice sometimes, yeah. 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 Sometimes, sometimes that instead of instead of uh, take, taking somebody to jail, probably that's, mm -hmm. that's the, best, the best punishment is just to fight the yard. I think that that, that form of justice works very well. Parade, mm -hmm. yeah, let yeah. people know. Let people know that this one is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody knows he's the good thing. Yeah, yeah. A big problem for him because yeah. now he's yeah. a goat thief. His children yeah. don't have place to stay. At yeah. school, they will be in trouble. On the road, you can't say anything. 
You yeah, say yeah. anything, your dad is a thief, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Stop yeah. talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Elisa, Elisa is, 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 is not, is not, there's, there's not, there's no more judges. It's not, you know, yeah. in other, some, some other countries that we know sometimes the, the, the people who kill those petty, yeah. petty, 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 petty offenses, you know, maybe he's hungry, whatever, yeah. and you don't know what's going on with his family, so. Yeah. But, I, but I like that, uh, that from African justice. Uh, yeah, I remember when you bring them to Cuba, thieves used to be. Well, well, one day, I think well, there was one, one, a couple of thieves were arrested, bringing them okay. somewhere now. They, yeah. they, 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 just, they, they just address them and then we will follow them naked around the town. Meleke ya lemunu ki? Yeah, grown up like everybody, they harali them naked. Yeah. So they yeah. were just like, never steal again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 African yeah. justice, you know. African um, justice. Um, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. I I think the humiliation is actually more hurting than the physical death. When it, exactly. when it, yeah, yeah because, because now you you have no place. You can't say anything. Even yeah. if somebody else is still, you are going to be the first suspect because you are yeah, the yeah. thief of the town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. tough. Yeah. yeah, but but some of those people too, they will handle it well. Remember, you know those days. If you fail, the last person in class is the celebrity. If you are if you are artist, mm. you know people will be singing after you. Artist, <laughs> they will parade you from school. Yeah. Yeah. People will follow you up to your house, yeah. and all these kids are singing. Menara. Yeah. Then one it a celebrity. It a celebrity. We get him. It a la di fi bed. Yeah. Yeah. I just be is bring this. It a kun mash ibes. Oh. Oh man. That that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's Africa for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, there's an American politician, uh, uh, a council member, uh, who pleaded guilty to using campaign money for plastic surgery. Of course, a former Maryland County Council member um, said he, he took $130,000 meant for his campaign. He put it in his personal account. Uh, Jamel Franklin, who served as council member in Prince George County, admitted to stealing the money from Friends of Mel uh, Franklin Committee, which he set up to raise funds for his 2020, 2023 election campaign. He then transferred 125000 into his account, spent like 5600 for surgery, and then 4400 for a separate medical payment. Um, he also made rent payments which was 2300 um one f- 1500 went to debt collection uh, <laughs> <Jake> <laughs> basically he, he decided to take Zuru, all the money yeah <laughs> 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 It's not really Gurusta Hakoma, it's donations to his campaign, right? But here is, you're not supposed to take it. uh, But it's taxpayers' money, that's not your money. You are are supposed to use it for the job that is allocated for. Yeah, yeah. Only, not for your, but but actually he's part of the job because he needs to look good. If you think about it, that's why he went for surgery. He's fixing himself for the election. <laughs> is, is he fixing himself for the election or for some lady somewhere? No, yeah. he's fixing himself for the election so he will look yeah. good. Uh-huh. The, uh, the, the, the money is actually well spent, if you think about it, because he's fixing himself for the election. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm not the bigger. Not school bigger. I'm not the bigger. All women are the only one with plastic surgery issues. Like if Rojal join in, they they problem. Rojal do the book to make up and stuff and going for plastic surgery too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nobody, oh yeah. Nobody, nobody, nobody want to look old. 
ya <laughs> right but yeah. he transferred it to his personal account so that's yeah. where the problem is his lawyer could have justified it that he was fixing himself for the <laughs> for yeah. the election yeah well too too bad in 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 law when you mess up like that you go to jail yeah oh yeah 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 that's all anyway uh so our last story today is of course uh, from the US again a car rolled into the river while couple were eating forbidden fruit in the backseat jamadel gen akolo a police in philadelphia usa reported that around 4 uh, 4:45 am on wednesday uh, oh. this past uh as it two weeks ago a, a car parked uh, near the columbia bridge in philadelphia ended up in the river with its headlights and the brake lights still on according to the police the woman had unintentionally disengaged the gear while the couple were busy you know um which sent the car rolling straight into the river the headlights were still on um you know uh the car was said to be either a range rover or a land rover um but the couple fortunately survived the incident without injuries so jamadel nesitwa umun in the heat of the moment they good memory for them they will always remember it must have been as a standard yeah standard Is it is it maybe because mommy water was jealous in the water so it dragged the Mommy water was not in mommy water was not in yeah 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 mommy mommy water got to bring the party to the river let's see Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, 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 Angel Gabriel Ali Zarabia de Kaman who knows, you know. I do I do and you know if 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 there is an example on there because we could be because why would you be doing in the car unless maybe one 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 of them maybe so you never know when one is cheating and and that's another punishment they will never yeah, cheat yeah. again. <laughs> ma, 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 ma bakumba gal 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 is is uh, hajad zede de kinki it, it keeps it going. Yeah. you 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 eta bako lo fi fi beti ta bako lo bare na ta bako lo ya gaba ta ko bako lo fra se jera ta ko bako lo bro yeah very yeah. public but if they are couple then mm. they have something to remember can mon de parents ali do yal fi bet na yal ta kas magi sa de news you will never forget that oh yeah forever never Never. No, yeah. even going to school going to school will be a problem people will be looking at you that hey you got crazy parents man <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that brings us to the end of this episode of course we look forward to seeing you again next sunday at 8 p.m. same time same place which is yazol tv and uh, don't forget to like comment share and subscribe 
to our YouTube channel um, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you for watching and may God bless South Sudan. Das so.